Hi and welcome to a uh, installation guide for Stalker OGSE. Uh, this is a standalone uh, experience. You do not need the uh, the retail version of the game. You don't need a Steam version. You don't need a GOG version. Seeing as I've had a couple of comments recently from people uh, that have had problems installing the game, I thought I'd do an installation guide. Right, so the first thing you want to do the link in the video description will give you a link to the ModDB page. And here you're presented with a lot of options, a lot of files that you can potentially download, but there's a lot of them that you don't actually need. All we want is part one through to six, and then the patch, and then the revised patch two, really. You may not need this. This one fixes a problem with grenades, I believe. Uh, you try and throw a grenade, but nothing happens. It fixes that, and I think something else, but you may not even need it. But if you do, it's a very, very small patch. What I'm going to cover in this video is parts one to six, and the, the main uh, additional patch. Okay, so I've already downloaded this. And I've got a file here that I've put together which shows you all the things you're going to need. So to start the installation off, all you need to do is to double click on the installation file. This file will take care of all the other parts, but not the patches. Okay, so you don't need to install these individually. Just double click on this file here. Click Run. As you should have guessed, my language is English. You're about to install OGSE. You want to help us with this project, so just click OK. That's my operating system. I have more than 3 gigabytes of RAM installed. I can proceed with the installation further. Right, I don't want to reinstall it because I've already got it on my drive which I'm using currently for my playthrough. So I'm going to install it instead to uh, my actual recording drive just for this video. So I'm going to click no. This is one of those typical windows that comes up, you just click next to continue. Accept the agreement which you have to. Click next again, there's some information you can read there if you want. So in this case, I'm going to be installing it to my recording drive, which is my G drive. And click next again. And this will take quite a while. Uh, you know, it'll take a few minutes anyway. So I'm going to pop back once it's done that and we can uh, take a look at the next step. Okay, so we come to the end of the installation. Click finish to exit the setup. And that's it, that's done. You've now got the base game installed. So let's take a look at my G drive. And there we are, there's uh, Stalker OGSE. So to launch the game, you well, you can elect to have a, uh, a shortcut on your des desktop, which I didn't for this particular installation. So therefore I need to click on the uh, configurator and I do believe if memory serves me right you should double click on this before you start the game anyway I think right so again I'm not going to cover this kind of thing I touched on this in the uh, other guide I did and to be honest I'm not an expert on this sort of thing there are some things here which I'm still not sure about but uh, if you want to have a bit more uh, information about this then check out my other video it's about uh, I think it was made in about a year ago now right so uh, let's launch the game and take a look at what it looks like or what it should look, look like uh, once you've done the first part of the installation okay so I've applied nothing here this is just the raw first version of the game as you can see it says 2.00 we haven't yet patched it to 2.10 okay so 
this part through right up to here. That's all been dealt with, so you can forget about that now. The thing we want to do is to install this patch. Now this is advisable to install because uh, I think when I started my playthrough, the first couple of parts or so, I hadn't put the patch on. Which was a bit silly of me really, uh, but anyway, I didn't and um, I read that it was advisable to do so and someone actually did mention in the comments that I should as well. And I'm glad I did. So, double click like before. Uh, yes, to any prompts, select your language, accept as before. This is the change log about what uh, you know changes will be made to the uh, main game. Make sure it's going to the right pathway. In this case, it's going to be going to my G drive again, so you will see some files shuffle about during the installation. Click next and install. Right, so you've come to the end of it once again and click finish to exit the setup. So we can now close this. And you've now got the game ready to play. So once again, just double click on the configurator and launch the game. Right, so now you should see that it says 2.10 revised, which is the final version. Uh, I believe they're not going to be spending any more time on this mod now, so this is about as good as it's going to get. Uh, in your options, you can change the resolution, but uh, everyone's system is going to vary, so you know it depends what resolution your your monitor is capable of doing, and you can select your own settings and the basic and the advanced areas. And I do touch on some of these settings in my uh, other guide. But I'm not an absolute expert on this. This is probably some of the most different options I've seen in a Stalker mod. Certainly different compared to many of them. But yeah, if you've got any questions then uh, fire away and I'll do my best. But I'm, uh, I'm not an authority on this kind of thing. <laughs> but uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, if you like watching Stalker then stay tuned for another part to my OGSC playthrough which will be up later in the week, maybe tomorrow, if not then Friday. Bye for now.